Can you see my presentation? Yep, I can see you. Thanks. Like that? Yeah, great. Okay. okay. So, so um, yeah, I am working now in the University of Bern, but I was uh, uh, just two months ago in the in, uh, in the industry in in total on on what we were um, trying to do is to to make hydrogen something that like uh, a new energy for the future. So uh, in this presentation, I will uh, present some some results we have obtained uh, during this uh, this project with Total, uh, on, <clears throat> and I will try to explain what we have found in the Pyrenees. So it's a very old uh, rift in a way, but uh, after uh, after extension, we you have a collision, and we have so interesting rocks in in the mountain also. So <clears throat> so our idea is, is was to to produce hydrogen uh, and to find uh, maybe a reservoir or high fluxes that can uh, make uh, the Earth uh, at the origin of a new energy uh, and uh, a new energy that can be used for the for the customers for the for the our mobility uh, and, and that's very interesting because as you know uh, if you burn uh, hydrogen uh, you produce no CO2 you have no pollution at all. And uh, what we, we have uh, for a target is a low price, less than $1 per kilogram of hydrogen. So that's the hope we have uh, to produce uh, the white hydrogen or the gold hydrogen as you want. Uh, to, and, and, and this is, can be very interesting because it is a, it is a pure uh, natural energy and, and uh, with uh, what I think is that we have no pollution by producing it uh, from the earth on, on, on the, the, the consumption is also very clean. So uh, Frida has already uh, mentioned a lot of, of those reactions uh, with uh, the transformation of mantle rocks with water into uh, serpentine uh, magnetite in some case uh, and uh, with a lot of hydrogen. And <clears throat> after that we have in some case if you have CO2 in the system, you can also produce abiotic Methane, and so the abiotic methane can be also uh, an interesting uh, resource. But of course, if you burn it, you produce CO2. Uh, but the abiotic methane can be also uh, a witness of the presence of uh, of hydrogen in the system. So it can be a part of the system you are you are also uh, studying. So you if you you the two gases, hydrogen and, and abiotic methane can be very interesting to demonstrate that you have something interesting in, in your in your uh, in your field in your uh, prospective uh, uh, area. So for exploration, uh, what we can try to to separate different type of of margins that can be uh, interesting for the production of hydrogen. Uh, so of, at the first, we, we have to, to have some olivine um, because olivine is uh, the source rock of, of the system, but you have to add uh, water to olivine. Uh, so <clears throat> the degree of fracturation, uh, the degree of access to water is of primary importance in this, uh, in this uh, research. In subduction or under uh, oceanic uh, crust, maybe it's not a very, very interesting place uh, for the production of, of hydrogen. On under continental crust, the mantle is, is, is very far. So it's very probably uh, those systems, uh, there is a lot of olivine, but it's too deep and you have no, no access to the water. In the mid-ocean ridge, uh, that's more interesting because we know that the serpentinization reaction uh, take place. So we have a production of hydrogen. The problem is also that we are far from the coast and it's difficult to produce the hydrogen uh, from an economic point, point of view. Uh, maybe one exception is uh, Iceland. In Iceland, um, some studies made uh, by some researcher on Isabel Moriti, for example, uh, as demonstrate that in, uh, in the geothermal fields of Iceland, uh, economic uh, quantities of uh, hydrogen are demonstrated. So we have now, on the, on the, I will say, the, the first investment with the, the, the geothermal uh, 
uh, fields are, are, have, have been done. So it's easy to imagine that we can add some uh, water gas uh, separators in order to produce the hydrogen that is released in the atmosphere for the moment or re-inject in, in the fields. Uh, and, and so, it's, uh, so it's, uh, it can be a good target uh, for an economic point of view to, to produce uh, the geothermal fields of Iceland uh, for, for the hydrogen. So if we, if we now go to maybe more easy place uh, uh, in the passive margin, uh, the place where you have some exhumed mantle can be, of course, very interesting for the production of, of hydrogen. Uh, the problem could be in, in those places that you have no uh, cap rock, so no trap uh, of, of, of the gas. And that's, that can be, of course, be a problem because if you have a production, but it's a very, uh, it's, it's diffused uh, um, easily in, in the seawater, you have no trap, so no, you are not able to concentrate uh, the resource and it's difficult to, to produce it. <clears throat> but it can be a good place to, to study uh, the, the uh, emission of, of hydrogen. So in, in the old craton, the iron oxidation and the radiolysis uh, introduced, for example, by uh, Emmanuel and, and Friedel are also uh, interesting uh, resources. If I go now uh, to uh, the place uh, in the Pyrenees where, where I was working, uh, it's, it's really a very favorable context uh, for, for, for serpentinization. And for example, uh, Yves La Gabriel has studied uh, the Urdash massif in the Pyrenees, and, and in the past, the Urdash uh, mantle rock was exposed to the seawater, and, and we know that we have. A, a, a production of uh, hydrogen in the past. And if you are doing some uh, measurement of hydrogen at the surface, it's also an, in, an interesting place where you, you have some, some seepage of uh, hydrogen. So maybe past uh, uh, production of hydrogen or uh, a production of hydrogen at low temperature uh, in, in this uh, Urdash uh, place uh, in the Pyrenees. <clears throat> so, Clearly, the exhumation of the, of the mantle is a key uh, because you have this direct contact of water with uh, the, um, uh, the mantelic rocks. Uh, but after that, if you have a, a collision on the, on the, with the, the trapping of some mantelic rock in abnormal high position in the crust, that can be very interesting. And so the, uh, in the orogenes, you, you can find some place where uh, you have uh, an active serpentinization on the present time active uh, serpentinization. And, and in, the, in the project uh, in, uh, we have um, developed we, by Total, but with the CNRS, with the, the BRGM in France, and you have here the reference of this uh, website, so, so convergentmargin.com, uh, you have plenty of information about the Pyrenees on, on what, what can be the dynamic. So the geodynamic that is at the orig origin of, the, of this trapping of Montelic rock in abnormal uh, position. And, 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 and so that allow an, a direct, direct contact uh, between the water uh, and, and those rocks. And, and with my group, uh, we have demonstrated that we have probably an active serpentinization in this mountain range. Uh, at first, we have at the surface some outcrops of Montelic rocks. On the, one of my uh, PhD stu students, uh, Camille Tichadou, uh, has demonstrated a, a different uh, degree of, uh, of uh, uh, serpentinization in some uh, outcrops uh, of those rocks. And that, that demonstrates that we have still, um, in some place, we have still a potential of serpentinization in those rocks. Not all the serpentinization, the, the serpentinization reaction is not at the end. Uh, so we have still some, some potential uh, in, in this, um, in this uh, mountain range. And uh, with another techniques, we have made a, a systematic degassing of all the hydrothermal waters 
we have in this area. And that's, that's very interesting because if the, the waters are hot, uh, this means that uh, they are coming from, from very deep. Uh, so uh, they can be a very uh, good uh, um, witness again of, of the presence of the, of the serpentinization in depth. And uh, considering our, our water analysis on the gas, the, the dissolved gas into the water, you have here, for example, a degassing experience, and you, you can see a bottle with, uh, with a lot of, of bubbles. Uh, so this is uh, on one of the springs that we have, we have degas. Uh, and in, the, in this gas, we have hydrogen and also abiotic uh, uh, methane. On, uh, on, your, on your right, you have a, a diagram with the isotope of the gas, and we have a very, very ab abiotic signature of the gas uh, for the methane in, in those uh, dissolved uh, gas uh, in, in, the, in these hydrothermal waters. So the hydrothermal waters can be also a piece of, of the demonstration that you have some active serpentinization and so uh, H2 production in your system. And uh, another technique is a soil gas analysis uh, using the same techniques uh, as uh, Emmanuel uh, has, has shown uh, in, in the previous presentation. So with one of my students, uh, Nicolas Lefebvre, we have made a, a map uh, of, uh, of, the, of the gas in the soil uh, in, in the Pyrenees. So you, you have the city of Pau just in the, in the center of this, of this map. And you, as you can see uh, with the, the two red spots, uh, the two red spots for, for high uh, H2 concentration are close to two major uh, accidents. Uh, to the south, it is uh, the, the North Pyrenean Fault. And to the north uh, near Ortez, you have also a red spot close to the North Pyrenean Frontal Trust. So the two main uh, um, uh, accidents, so uh, uh, fault or, or trust in this area, clearly are, um, uh, um, are those, those, those faults are not um, sealed uh, and they are, um, they can, uh, you, you can have, you, they can drive the gas to the surface. So at the surface, you have also a nice, uh, a nice um, uh, tool to demonstrate that that you have uh, this uh, serpentinization in, 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 the, in depth in the system. I speak minutes. about, yeah, five minutes. Yeah, I, I, have, I, I am uh, not, not very far from the, from the end. Uh, we have demonstrated with uh, geophysics uh, that we have um, um, some, some Montelic rocks in a very abnormal uh, situation. Here uh, you, we have coupled the gravimetry, the magneti magnetism, and also the seismicity uh, in, in a, an area where uh, we, we are thinking that uh, we have um, a, a mental body uh, that is trapped in, in the structure of the Pyrenees and, and is uh, probably, and with the magnetism, we are pretty sure that we have a serpentinization in this place. And a lot of, of the, the faults you, you can see on this cross section, cross section uh, are, are in fact connected to this uh, uh, Montelic body. Uh, and and uh, when you are doing the, the gas uh, survey at the surface, you, you, you are finding uh, the hydrogen at the surface. So, so we, we have here uh, on this cage, in fact, uh, our idea is that we have some um, some some uh, uh, entry of the of the water in the mountain, and the the water is reacting with the montelic rocks and produce uh, hydrogen. But also, as we have uh, some CO two in the system, we are also producing abiotic methane in this system. You have, uh, and I give just in two slides another example. It is in New Caledonia, where you have some obduction, so the mantle is carried on the Mount Continental uh, crust. And it's also a very favorable place for the serpentinization. And for example, in the Bay of Pony, uh, in, the, in, the, in the east of the uh, New Caledonia, uh, there is a production of, of hydrogen that is demonstrated 
in a paper of Christophe Monin uh, from Toulouse. So in my, for my conclusion, um, yeah, clearly serpentinization is very favorable processes for the native H2 production. And, and when we want to have um, some, uh, some resources that is available and the, uh, the access to these resources is easy, maybe mountain range can be uh, interesting, but also obduction systems. So uh, geology and geochemistry and geophysics can be coupled to uh, precisely uh, define what can be uh, some uh, industrial prospect uh, for this exploration. So thank you for your attention. Thank you, Eric. Um, so I already see there is a question. Chris, do you want to ask yourself? Yeah. Um, hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Thank you. Um, how the natural hydrogen, what's the plan for capturing it? Because I know from some of the, you know, the different types of hydrogen which are generated sort of at source as a byproduct, they're easier to scrub and capture. But for the naturally occurring hydrogen, can you say anything about the, the, the kind of approach to capturing it? Oh, I, what, I, what we are thinking is that you have two options, in fact. One option is to, to find some, uh, um, some place that, that play like an uh, oil and gas uh, uh, trap. Uh, so you have, uh, for example, clays or, 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 um, or salt uh, that can play the, the role of cap rock. Uh, and of course, the, the diffusivity of, uh, of hydrogen is high, but if your flux are high, you can have a, a, a potential of of trapping of your of your gas in your system, so that's that's the first option. See, is to find those uh, uh, reservoirs, and it's a very classical uh, approach, uh, um, and classical uh, as as we are doing in the oil and gas industry. A second uh, approach can be to to directly go into uh, the serpentine, and to to frack uh, the serpentine. Uh, and, and, and to, to do as we are doing for the unconventional uh, um, gas and oil and gas, uh, uh, where, where you are fracking directly the, um, the source rock. So uh, it can be another option uh, to, to, to frack the serpentine. And, on the, on, we can also imagine some systems where you have no, no trap, but you have some fluxes and fluxes that are uh, enough um, uh, so to, to be economic. Uh, so the idea could be that you have a, um, a network of, of, of boreholes that can trap the fluxes and you are producing a continuous fluxes and it's really a renewable energy uh, because you, you, we can imagine a geological systems uh, where you have enough uh, water fluxes to go into in, in, in contact uh, with the uh, olivine on, on pyroxene and, and you have a constant uh, production of hydrogen and, and we will not um, produce um, a reservoir and at the end you have produced all the hydrogen and you have no, uh, no uh, renew of your, of your system. But we can imagine systems that are completely a, a renewable, uh, uh, the production will be renewable, in fact. And that's also one option we, we have in mind. So that, that the, the three uh, options we, we, can, we can try to, to work on. So classical reservoir, uh, cla classical uh, um, um, source rock, fracking, uh, but also um, um, trying to find place where you have uh, fluxes that are uh, uh, enough to 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 uh, to be uh, uh, economic uh, uh, to have a, a, an economic sense. Great, thanks, super, absolutely super. Thank you. I see. Also, Frank has a question. Frank, would you like to ask yourself? Sure. Hello. Hi, uh, Eric. Thanks for the very nice uh, talk. I was wondering uh, about this uh, this hydrogen. Uh, what the scale of exploration and exploitation or extraction could be? Could this be something that could be a large scale, or is it something that would still be a little bit of a niche market? 
<laughs> I will say for the moment, I think the niche market is demonstrated. Uh, we have some niche market, uh, uh, niche, niche, niche discovery in Iceland, for example, with uh, the geothermal uh, field of Iceland, clearly. Uh, you can produce a value of more than uh, one or two million euro uh, or dollar per year uh, with uh, the, 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 the geothermal field of Iceland. And we have to, on, on the community, as to, to continue to, to make the analysis on all the geothermal field we have, uh, because probably the uh, hydrogen content uh, as a, it's a dissolved gas, in fact, but, but probably enough to be produced to be a, a, a niche market. For something larger, uh, I think uh, when you, you are studying the, the, the numbers given by the, the people trying to imagine what can be the hydrogen production at, at the Earth's level, it's enormous, in fact. Uh, but we have to find the place where you have some trapping of the gas and to find what we call in the uh, oil and gas energy, so we call uh, elephant, uh, the, the, uh, the, the targets that are very, very big. And, and for the moment, nobody has, this, has made this type of discovery. But if you imagine that you can do it, uh, some people will, will do it. And, 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 and we now, with all the work made by this small community, but very active community, I am thinking that we, we are at the beginning of, of a nice story on, 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 on big discoveries will be done uh, in, the, in the next uh, years. Uh, the, the question sometimes uh, the people from the oil and gas industry says, but we have made millions of, of boreholes on, on never hydrogen was a very interesting uh, resource. But in, in the sedimentary basin, in fact, you are far from the, from the, um, the kitchen, the place where you are producing hydrogen. Uh, and the place where you are producing hydrogen is close to the, uh, to the uh, place you are, uh, may, uh, you are doing the serpentinization, for example. Or in some place where you have a lot of radiolytic uh, um, uh, production, uh, for example, close to the Cigar Lake uh, mine, it's an uranium uh, mine, you have a, a, a production of hydrogen. Uh, and, and for the radiolytic uh, uh, process, it's um, maybe a niche, uh, uh, a niche, uh, a small resource, but maybe interesting. Uh, and, and, and we, if we are able to trap it, uh, it can be uh, maybe the, the owners of, of this mine could, could produce some energy and, and, and reduce their, their consumption of uh, hydrocarbons, for example. It, it's very easy to switch from uh, hydrocarbon to hydrogen. In fact, in, in some motors, uh, or it's, it's not so, so difficult. So I think for some big uh, installation like a mine, we can imagine that, 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 that we can have some, some trapping that can have uh, an economic uh, sense. So yeah, I will say uh, we, we are at the beginning of the story, on, on, uh, on, but the, the, the community is young and active. And I, my hope is that we, we will have uh, some, some progress, interesting progress uh, on, on technonics and on, on geodynamics are clearly a key also to, to find those places. Thank you. Yeah, um, 